Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in to another video. Today's going to be a little bit different of a review, or I'm sorry, not even a review. Today's going to be a different video. We're going to be reviewing kind of all of the releases that came from Storm and the Storm family this year, uh, looking at all 21 releases that came out in 2022. We're going to kind of put them in a tier list, tier list and um, kind of talk about which ones uh, I like. Obviously, this is personally, you know, this is a personal opinion. This is very subjective. This is, you know, kind of what I thought, you know, in my opinion, were my best, you know, balls and best equipment that I uh, basically drilled in, in 2022. And, um, you know, looking forward to kind of going over all of these uh, with you guys. Um, first and foremost, you know, obviously got to think I am bowling in, in Storm. I'm back with them for 2023. I'm really looking forward to 2023 with both of these uh, great companies. And, um, you know, again, just, just happy to be with them. Wearing a, a new um, I am bowling jersey. If you want to save yourself 20% off of your uh, I am bowling apparel order, you can use my promo code down here. It's going to be FIRO07. Save yourself 20% off of your entire order. Um, again, really looking forward to being back with both of these companies. Thank you to Matt Gasson and Brian Cooper for, um, you know, obviously giving me another opportunity here in 2023. All right, uh, enough rambling here. Let's get into this, um, tier list and, uh, let's go over all of the 2022 releases, uh, from Storm and the Storm family. Um, some of these balls in here, I have not drilled. I haven't thrown. There's a couple of limited edition releases in here. Um, you know, and for those releases, I'm just going to flat out put them in the D category because, you know, I haven't thrown them, haven't thrown them, haven't had a chance to, you know, even really see them that much. So, um, those will automatically go in the D category. Obviously S category is, you know, obviously the best ball that I've thrown this year. And, and D is, you know, obviously not that great, but again, this is personal. This is subjective. This is my personal opinion. That's not to say that these balls aren't great because I, I truly do believe that all of these ball releases were great. Um, you know, it's just a matter of opinion. So uh, let's dive into it. We're going to start here with the Storm Fate that is going to be Belmo's latest uh, release. Um, you know, a, a, actually a fairly strong um, reaction and shape um, with this Fate. Um, you know, it's got a strong symmetrical core in it. It's got a really strong surface on it with the REX. I believe it's the third strongest, uh, cover that, that Storm has. Um, and it really shows in this one. I actually have two fates. I have a pin up and a pin down. I, I really do think that it's a, it's a great piece. Um, man, I, I struggle to put this in the S and the A, but I think at the end of the day, I'm going to put it in A. Um, I would say it's actually probably, you know, an A plus <laughs> really, really close to that S tier, but um, you know, I, I again, I, I really do think it's got a, a great shape to it. I think it's a true benchmark ball, um, and I think Belmo really knocked it out of the park with that ball. So, um, Storm Fate is an A. We have the Night Road here, and again, these all these balls are in no particular order. Um, so the Night Road here, um, I think is a is again a, a really really good piece. Um, I haven't thrown it an insane amount. I did throw it in a couple of tournaments and, um, you know, it, it's a great ball when, you know, kind of the track area burns up. Uh, it's got that REX cover on it. That's strong and, and can read fairly early. Um, you know, but I threw this in a tournament where the lanes were really, really burnt up and I, you know, I needed someone, something that was going to get through it a little bit more and then have a strong reaction at the back end. And that was this night road. I think I'm going to put the Night Road in the B. Um, again, I, I really do think it's a good ball. I don't think it's quite as good as the Fate, um, you know, but I, I do think it's a really good piece. Infinite Physics. I, I really like this piece. I, I think the Fate and the Infinite Physics both have a really similar ball shape to them. You know, they both have, um, you know, fairly strong cores in there. They both have really, really strong covers in that REX cover. I think it's a great piece. Um, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one up with the Fate in the A category. I really, really like that piece, and I, I like the ball shape it has. And, um, you know, it's it's a good piece. That's all I can say about it. It's a good piece. The Nova. Uh, this one was one of the first ball releases in 2022. Um, you know, when I, when I first, I, I actually drilled two. Um, the first one that I had really just did not wow me by any means. I mean, the ball shape, I think, is is very, very smooth. 
um, you know, and, and that one that I drilled earlier had a lot of top weight to it. Um, you know, so it kind of did roll a little bit earlier. So I drilled up another one and this ball just doesn't stop striking. I took it to nationals, uh, helped me with a, a really, really good finish at nationals. So, you know, as much as I want to say, I'm not a huge fan of it, it strikes a lot. So I'm actually going to put this one up in the A category as well. I think this is one of the better releases from 2022. Um, I think this one, and then, you know, you don't really hear a lot of ASIMs being able to be a benchmark ball, but uh, I do actually think the Nova would be a good benchmark ball for everybody, and I, I think this one was um, right up there as well. I think it was a great release, and um, yeah, I, I would put the Nova in that eight category. Next up, we have the Phase 4. Now, this is a ball that was in that national tournament exclusion rule. It was not banned, so let's make sure that, you know, everybody say it with me. It was not banned. It was just part of the national tournament exclusion rule. You can't throw it at nationals, can't throw it at the Masters. Um, but you can throw it in, in everyday league and, you know, every tournament that says we allow the, or every tournament that in the rules, it doesn't say we don't allow those six balls that were part of that national tournament exclusion rule. So the phase four is, um, it's not banned. You can still throw it. So, uh, phase four, um, I thought was actually a really good piece. Um, it was actually probably a little bit more early rolling than I think some of the other phase pieces and, and especially be, between the phase four and the phase five. Um, I really do think the phase four was, um, you know, a little bit more early rolling. I, I think it, you know, it had a, a little bit more of a, a mid lane shape to it. And, um, I did like the phase four. I don't think it's quite as good as what the Nova is or the, the infinite physics. So I'm going to put that in the B category. I think it was a fairly good release. Um, you know, but, uh, just not as good as the other balls. We have the Rotogrip gem next. Uh, this ball was obviously one of the premier pieces that came out in 2022. You know, it's obviously that big ASIM that everybody seems to love and wants. Um, you know, for me, I, you know, obviously you have the very strong surface on it um, that's going to make it roll early. You have that big core in it that's going to make it roll early. So I drilled mine pin down. Pin down drillings for me uh, give me a little more shape through the back part of the lane. And, and you know, it's not going to roll out earlier for me. So I, I did that. Um, you know, it's still fairly smooth because it does hook, um, you know, but I'm glad I drilled it the way I drilled it because, you know, it, it gets me the shape that I need through the back part of the lane. And, you know, it's not quite as flat kind of getting through the pins. Um, this gem I'm going to put in the B category. I do think it was a great ball. Um, you know, I, I just don't think it's as good as the Nova, the Fade, or the Infinite Fit. Phase five. This ball strikes a lot. It really does. Um, I've had a couple opportunities to, to throw a big honor score with it. I haven't quite gotten there yet with the Phase 5. I, I think it's more than capable of, of you know, getting that honor score that I'm going to uh, get at, at some point. So the Phase 5, I'm actually going to put in the S category. I think this is, you know, an, an amazing, amazing ball. Um you know, so phase five is, is, is an S category. It strikes a ton. Um, only thing is once in a while, I have to hit it with a little bit of surface 2000, uh, kind of shines up a little bit, but if that's the only complaint I have about the phase five, I'm fine with that. I'll hit it. I'll hit it every, every night if I have to, because this ball just strikes a ton. So up next we have the paint the lanes, pink physics. Uh, this is one of those, um, Limited edition releases. Um, I drilled one of these up. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these. Um, you know, it, it's 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 for a good cause. Um, you know, I, I don't think I drilled it up, you know, quite to where it really shows off its true potential. Um, it does roll good. Um, you know, it's got strong back end reaction to it. Um, so the paint lane pink physics, I'm gonna put in the C category. Uh, again, it's it was for a, a really great cause. Um, you know, I'm I'm a hundred percent glad that I that I got it. Uh, performance wise, I, I just don't think it, it's quite up there with like some of the other kind of domestic releases. So, uh, Paint the Lanes Pink Physics is going to be that first ball that's in the C category. Again, that's not to say it's a great ball. It just maybe doesn't quite match up with me. Reality check. Um, I really did like the the altered reality and I think this ball was you know not exactly supposed to be the direct replacement to it but I, I do think this reality check was kind of supposed to be similar to that altered reality 
Um, doesn't quite give me the same look to it. I, I did actually drill it up the same. Uh, it flares a lot. I think a lot more than, than what that Ultra did. Um, you know, so it hooks a lot. It flares a lot. I think it's a, it, it's a pretty good ball. I, I'm going to put it up above that Paint the Lane Paint lanes pink physics i'm going to put that in the b category i think it just um you know not quite what that altered reality was but that's not to say it's a great ball because i i do think it's a really good ball i threw it in league the other night uh last week tuesday and it rolled really really well um you know got a couple i think i averaged 250 with it that night so uh it's a good ball just not quite up with that fate infinite physics nova is RSTX3. So I was someone that really, really enjoyed the RSTX1. I actually got another one, put it in my storage, my my basement, um, you know, along with a bunch of other pieces. Um, RSTX3 I was really, really looking forward to because, again, I really did like that RSTX1. I don't think it was quite as good as the RSTX1, um, you know, but you still get a decent shape with it. And I've, I've drilled a couple of these up for you know, a couple customers and, you know, it rolls really, really well for them. Um, I don't think it quite matches up to me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the C category. Again, this is just for myself, my personal preference. Um, you know, I, I really did like that RSTX1, RSTX3 didn't quite, um, you know, didn't quite perform as well as that RSTX1 did for me. Spectre. So again, this this was the only ball from SPI that was given that hard ban. So you're not able to throw the Spectre anymore. Uh, I got this picture from uh, SPI from the from Storm's website. That's why you see the little exchange uh, symbol up there. Um, the Spectre, I, I really really liked. I was really really disappointed when they when they banned this one. Um, you know, obviously we have the, uh, the Revenant coming out, which is basically the Spectre, just with a different name, different colors. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting my Revenant. Spectre was a ball that struck maybe not so much on leak shots for me, but this ball was special when I went to tournaments. This ball was amazing. So <laughs> it's weird putting this ball in the S category, but it, it really was an S tier ball for me. I really, really enjoyed it a lot. Um, you know, again, kind of disappointed that I can't throw it anymore, but again, we have that Revenant that's coming out. Hopefully that Revenant will be in that S category, uh, next year. So Spectre is in the S category, but again, obviously I can't throw it too much anymore, but looking forward to that Revenant. Sunstorm. Sunstorm is a ball that I have not thrown. I'm still looking to get my hands on a Sunstorm. So if you have an, a Sunstorm, hit me up. I just don't want to pay $400 for it. So if you have a sunstorm, hit me up. I really do want to throw one of those pieces. I wasn't didn't have a chance to get it. Um, it looks like they're rolling phenomenally. It looks like there's been a lot of people that have success with them. Um, I'm looking. I, I really do want to throw a sunstorm at some point. Uh, Supernova. Uh, I think this was a ball that was um, you know it had a lot of hype, kind of kind of waiting for for the release. Um, I threw the the supernova. I just. I, again, I, I think this is one of these balls where they didn't quite match up to me. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and put the Supernova in the um, C category. Again, it just didn't quite match up to me. Um, you know, it wasn't quite the ball like that gem was or even that Nova was. Um, you know, it just, I don't know. It just, it just didn't get along with me. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the C category. Um, again, that's not to say that it's not a great ball. I've seen a lot of people whacking them with that Supernova. It just didn't quite match up to me. Wolverine Dark Moss. Now, obviously, this was to kind of fill that gap where the Wolverine was, the OG Wolverine. Um, you know, I, I, I actually like this ball a little bit better than what the OG Wolverine was for me. Um, I drilled it a little better. I, I put the Spectre drilling in this ball because a lot of people were saying, obviously, that the Wolverine was very similar to that Spectre. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this Dark Moss in the B category. There's times where I can throw it, um, you know, but I, I certainly can't throw it on everything. It's not a true benchmark, at least for me. It certainly can be a benchmark for people, but for me, um, wasn't quite there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in, in that B category. Zen Soul. Um, this is a ball I drilled up. So when I drilled this ball up, I put an incredibly, incredibly strong layout in it. Uh, it shouldn't say incredibly strong, but I did a four by four by two, which in the vector layout system is, you know, obviously fairly strong. Um, so I drilled one of these up, 
through it a couple of times. Um, you know, just wasn't quite, it, it, that was an incredibly different layout for me. Usually I put about four and a half to five inch pins in my, in my equipment. So a four inch pin, um, was a little bit different. So, um, you know, I, I think with a different drilling with the Zen Soul, I think, um, I would have been able to throw this a little bit more. Um, but with that different layout in there, um, you know, I'm just going to have to put it in the C category. Um, but I, I didn't really get a chance. I didn't throw it a ton. Uh, so I didn't really get a chance to, to kind of see its, its full potential. So I, I put that in the C category. Zen U. This is a different urethane ball. This ball is a phenomenal urethane. Um, this ball is going to come with me to every single tournament that I go to. Um, significantly stronger than what the pitch black is. I think I have a five board difference or four or five board difference between the Zen U and the pitch black. If you haven't seen that ball review, head on over to the YouTube channel, uh, to my videos and you'll see what that Zen soul has to offer. Uh, since I'm going to bring this ball to every single tournament I go to, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the S category. Um, you know, again, this ball is special. It's a great urethane ball. Um, and I, I do think it's a, it's a really, really good piece that 900 Global came out with. And I, I think they knocked it out of the park. I think urethanes can be kind of hit and miss and this one, they hit out of the park. We have exotic gem next. Uh, exotic gem is obviously the latest and the last release in 2022. Um, exotic gem, this one I drilled up to kind of roll a little bit earlier. It's, it's a different layout than what my, um, regular gem was. Um, you know, I, I think this layout doesn't exactly, um, m I don't want to say mesh with me, but you know, it, it, it's, it's a little bit more, I don't want to say a lamer either, but it's, it's smooth. It's a smooth layout that I put in it. Um, so I don't exactly probably get to see everything this ball has to offer. Um, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to throw it too much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this g exotic gem in the C category. Again, that's not to say that it's not an awesome ball. I've seen, you know, obviously people whack it, whack them with this ball. Uh, I think it, it really does have a, a, a great ball shape, but, um, you know, probably one of those balls that I probably should have drilled a little differently. Um, you know, and, uh, that maybe would have got it up to like a B or an A, but, uh, I'm going to have to put it in the C category. All right. So, uh, we have the Electrify Golden Orange. So this ball, I think, was probably the most underrated ball um, that came out in 2022. It came out with that Phase 5. Obviously, it gets overshadowed by that Phase 5. Um, but the Electrify Golden Orange, don't sleep on it, man. It, it rolls really, really well. I threw this one on Thursday during League and shot 760 with it. Only moved five boards throughout the entire night. It's a very, very smooth ball, very, very controllable. I drilled mine pinned down, and as I kind of said earlier, uh, pinned down kind of shapes through the back part of the lane. Um, you know, so even though this is a smoother ball, it's actually the same surface that they put on the Tropical Surges. It gets through the pins really, really well, and I actually, I think I left, I don't know, like two nine pins or three nine pins and then a four nine and you know it, it gets through the pins really really well especially if you have some friction to bounce it off of so don't sleep on this electrify golden orange i'm going to put this up in the a category um it's it's don't sleep on it man it, it rolls really really well and um yeah I, I think if you're if you're certainly looking for a ball you know i would i would put this similar to kind of what the hustles are maybe even a pinch stronger than what the hustles are um, you know, so I think the Electrify Golden Orange is a, is a great ball and something that you sh certainly shouldn't sleep on. Up next, we have the Hype Solid. Now, the original Hype, so I, I got a Hyped Hybrid. I didn't do a Hype Pearl, um, but the original Hypes were, were fairly smooth, and I think this one's fairly smooth as well. I think the only difference is, this, obviously, this one has surface, um, and it'll be able to kind of pick up and read a little bit earlier I put a pin down to try and get it to shape a little bit more throughout the back part of the lane um you know I think the surface makes it a little smoother but I think doing pin down I think did it a favor and it rolls really really well I'm gonna put this one in the B category again I think it rolls really re oops, not the C the B I think it rolls really really well and um I'm quite happy with it um you know it's again one of those balls that I think if if you wanting to play straighter keep something smoother in your hand I think that hype solid is is certainly something that you should probably consider and look at up next we have the hustle USA um I have not drilled one of these so this is going to go in the D category um 
haven't drilled one of these kind of getting more likely every single day that I'm going to drill one of these. But um, as of right now, I haven't. I think I've seen like one or two get on the lanes. They look fairly okay. Uh, you know, probably it looks a little bit smoother than I think what I would expect out of a hustle. Um, but it looks really, really good. And um, again, I haven't drilled one, haven't thrown one, but it does look um, like it's a, it's a pretty good hustle. So last ball that we're going to look at is the Isle Cosmos. Obviously, this is the sister um, or brother, whatever you would consider it, um, to the Idol Helios, which obviously, you know, I've had success with the Idol Helios. This is the only ball that I have an honor score with. I think I, I shot a 12 or a 14 or something, uh, with this Idol Cosmos this year. Um, you know, it's really good. It's, it's something that, you know, I think you can throw on cliff lanes and wet dry lanes and wet dry reactions to it. Um, you know, it, it's a really early rolling pearl. I think certainly a, a little bit more early rolling than what the fate is, um, which is saying something because the fate really has that strong cover on it. Um, but it's really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and put this up in the S category. Obviously, I feel like I have to when it's the only ball that I shot an honor score with so far this, this season. So, um, Idol Cosmos is going to go and go in the, uh, S category. So, there you have it. That's all the balls that have, um, you know, been released in 2022. That is my personal tier ranking. Obviously, like I said, this is purely subjective. So um, you obviously might rank these balls differently. And I, and I want to hear what you guys uh, have to say about my ranking. Do you agree with it? Do you not agree with it? Which balls would you uh, rearrange? Which ball would you put in that S category? Make sure you let me know down in the comments down below. Um, up next, we have the Exotic Gem Review that I'm going to hopefully be doing here this week. Um, you know, looking forward to, to getting that ball out to you guys. Obviously, a little spoiler alert uh, with um, this tier ranking. But uh, again, this is all subjective. I've seen a lot of great scores with, with all of these pieces. Um, so don't let this scare you away from, from getting any of these pieces. But obviously, your, your pro shop operator knows best. So... Uh, feel free to, to stop into your local Storm VIP Pro Shop, check out uh, all these pieces, and, and make sure you communicate with them which ball they think would be best for you. So uh, that's all I got for you guys. Until the next time, good luck and good bowling, and Happy New Year.